Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today is the big 2023 restock haul. I've got tons of boxes here from Joann's, also Amazon. Some of the Joann stuff came in bags. So I think the quickest and easiest way to go about doing this is if I got all of this out of the boxes. So let's get into it. Much better, now I can show you what I got. Let's get into it. Over here I have the Amazon items and then the Joann's bolts and then the Joann's bags. I left them in the bags to show you how inefficient they were. I just, I couldn't believe the inefficiency. So, and I ordered all of this. This was two orders. So it could have come in two shipments. I don't know if they come from different facilities or what. Um, so like for example, this has one quilting cotton, which is these little swaths and then I need a clean place to put this stuff. So this has little swaths and then, whoa. So I ordered five threads, five white threads. Um, so the idea behind this whole haul is that I spent about, mm, about $2,000 on all my materials for next year to have to not order any new material for next year. My goal is to only spend money in 2023 on vendor shows, gas, and uh, food. So we'll see how good I did. I went ahead and did my calculations from 2022 sales to calculate how much I would need for the next year. This next bag is cotton flannel. And so I don't know if this is one cut or two, this is butterflies because all of the cotton flannel, I ordered eight yards, which is a bolt because there's a discount. I'm a Joann's Plus member, uh, which is free to join. And that means that then you could get a discount for ordering a bolt at a time. This is a bolt as well of quilting cotton, or sorry, cotton flannel. And the cotton flannel I use to make the reusable towels. So I can get four towels out of three yards. So these are eight yards. And this bag here, I don't believe I ordered a bolt. I can't, I can't remember. Um, it might be a bolt. I've got these trucks. This is cotton, quilting cotton. So this is like jar openers and stuff. Those are the designs I picked there. And then in this bag here, we've got bubble wrapped uh, thread. There's only three things of thread in this bubble wrap. We've got big gray, a big red, which I've never gotten a big red. That's going to last me a long time. And then tan for jar openers. Um, I did order more of these. They just, like I said, came in all different shipments, even though I ordered them at one time. This bag here, let's see what's in it. Oh, that's nice. A whole bag, a singular thread. And then this is the last bag. Let's see here. What do we got in here? This one has, like look at this huge bag. Like, I don't understand. They're all packed so differently. It makes no sense at all. So these three threads for jar openers as well. So five of these threads and then five of these. I didn't order any black because I barely used any black this year. Um, so I did not order. So this pile here is from Amazon. So I got a new pack of rotary blades um, for cutting. So rotary blades. And then this is like a huge pack of universal needles. I think it's like 50 needles or something. And then my labels that come from France, I ordered a thousand. So here is a thousand labels. And then these boxes here are um, for my serger. Okay, so it takes four spools of a color. I've got two black, two white. This will make more sense in one second. Okay. 
This is gray, so four gray. Black. Navy. And I love these spools. I think they're fantastic. They're so much better than the Coates and Clark. They're so, <clears throat> they're so much bigger that they last a long time. And then tan. So I do think that I'm missing a box because I thought that I also ordered a pack of white. Uh, I'll need to go back and double check. Um, but the idea behind, oh, I know what it was. I just had ordered a pack of white. No, I already have it in my stash. So the reason why I got this split pack is because two of the threads run out faster than the other two. So by having six and then I have another four of the white, that'll last me even longer. Um, I don't know exactly if I am gonna have to reorder the white. I think that that's something I might need to, but I just didn't want way too much. Um, so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think that's one thing that I might've messed up on. And then uh, here in this box, we've got my brown paper bags. Um, for the most part, I don't give out a ton of bags at my shows. Uh, I don't want to open this right now. Let me show you what they look like. So these are the two bags that I use. I have this little organza bag that can hold like jar openers, coasters, that sort of deal. And then I have these bigger paper bags, which can hold the reusable towels and whatnot. Um, I don't use any plastic and trying to be sustainable. But this one box of 100 bags, and then I have 100 of the organza ones. I still have quite a few left. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I had enough for next year. Um, that is that. And then these are really cool. So I got some new chairs. The chairs is what takes up the most space in my car. Um, so I got these new chairs. So not only are they folding, but they're high. They're high chairs, right? Because I use four foot tables that are higher up. And so you wanna be at the level of your customers. You don't wanna be in one of the lower folding chairs. Plus it has a little table, cause otherwise then you're like putting your drinks on the craft table, which is dangerous. Cause like if a drink spills over, that could be bad. So anyways, I'm excited that these are gonna take up a lot less space in my car and they're really nice. Plus I could use them for other reasons as well. Now, Let's talk about this guy right here. So I have it organized by, um, so this is cat, then we have dog, then we have other animals. This, uh, and these are all cotton flannel. All of this is cotton flannel, minus these four bolts right here. And so these are all cotton flannel, which means they're all for towels and the blankets. And then these ones are quilting cotton, so like jar openers or things like that. Um, I have them organized by, these are like colors of the rainbow, then we have some more neutral like animal skin prints than um, flying animals, cats, dogs, and then other. So let me show you what we got here. Oh, and let me tell you how many there are. So there's 35 of the cotton flannel and then there's four of the quilting cotton. So this is 39 bolts sitting here. First up, we have the bumblebees. Then we have the Cardinals. Now I don't really like this one because of how white it is, but people do specifically ask for Cardinals. So I went ahead and got that. These are like sneakles. And then we've got butterflies. <clears throat> like dragonflies. Um, is that the right word? Yeah, dragonflies. Swans. I really love the color palette of this one. I don't remember what they called this, like cheetah print or something. Multi-animal blue is what it's called. This one is kind of camo-y, but actually it's labeled olive snakeskin. But I don't know, I feel like it's like camo. So on the animal print, animal paw print debate, is it cat or is it dog? This one is dog because it has dog bones, so. This one, I forget what they called this one. Multi-animal pink. <laughs> That's what that one is. Okay, so like this one, 
Does this mean dog or does this mean cat? There's no ball, there's no dog bone. So that means it could go either way, right? Cheetah print. I'm not into cheetah print, but other people are. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I did, when I was searching for these, a bunch of dog, bunch of cat, other animals, and then I did Roy G. Biv, Colors of the Rainbow, and found uh, one of each color. But these are not solids. They are more solid, but they're not solid. And then these ones are actually, I think, 10 yards, not eight. So this is purple. Then we've got yellow. And you can tell that they're not solid. They're like tie dye is what they're called. They didn't have an orange, but so this is like the closest to orange I could get. Green. Red. <clears throat> and blue. Let me readjust and we'll go down the second stack. Coming down the second stack here, like I said, these top four are uh, cotton, or sorry, quilting cotton, and they were on sale because they're Christmas. <clears throat> so we've got this red one, which I don't think this is Christmas. It's just red fabric. So I'm like, whatever. Buffalo print. I mean, I think when you combine these fabrics together, they're Christmassy, but individually, they're not Christmas. They're just colors. So, and then this is co quilting cotton. So that means I can make jar openers. And this matches the most popular quilting, sorry, cotton flannel. Oh, my words today. So I can make like a jar opener towel combo set. Okay, these are all cotton flannel now. So these are all for reusable towels and blankets. So we've got horses. And if you remember before, the only thing I could find is unicorns. So these are horses, not unicorns. I thought this was funny, but they're little goats. Ow. That was fun. Okay. These are goats. This is Arctic animals. Guitars, dinosaurs, uh, woodland, <clears throat> woodland creatures. So I don't know, like when I placed this order of a lot of fabrics, um, then they're like, this got canceled, this got canceled, this got canceled. So like there's some that I ordered to round it out and they were never sent. So like for the dogs, for example, I have this one. And I have this one. So I only have two, but I do have the two paw print ones. So that's four, but I swear I ordered more. I also ordered two that were like on the farm or whatever. So it was like farm animals and those never came either. So it's very frustrating when you place the order online and you don't know what's gonna come or not. Uh, so now we're into the cats, all the rest are cats. So these are cats in sweaters or vests. I don't remember what they called it. These are cats with fish. This pattern is larger than I expected, so I don't know how well this is gonna turn out, but this is cats and mushrooms. These are just cats' faces. <clears throat> cats on a grid. And then we've got one, two, three, four of these gray cats because I literally cannot keep these in stock. I'm sure that I could make an entire bolt with, worth of towels and sell that entire bolt at a show. Um, granted that doesn't hit every single customer so I wouldn't wanna just do that and then not have anything else because then that wouldn't please other people. But I will definitely burn through these. I probably put over 10 bolts of these 
but ordering four meant that I was getting an even, even bigger discount than ordering two. Because when you go on the website, it'll tell you if you order X amount of yards, you get X amount of discount. So that's why I ordered the amount that I did because it was even cheaper and I know for a fact that these patterns are gonna sell. So um, my first goal is I need to go ahead and surge, wash, iron, and then cut these up. I'm planning to use half of each bolt for towels and half of each bolt for the blankets. Uh, we'll see how that goes. My first show is in March at Ida Lee. Um, I'll have the information listed down below. Um, we'll see if I'm able to make anything by then. I don't know if I can or not. I do want to make, oh, I forgot to show you guys the jar openers. I need to go grab those. Um, so my goal is to make 600 jar openers for next year. Um, I'm gonna make them all in one month. So I'm gonna do a video on that. Um, uh, we'll see if I can do that or not. I think I can, but um, let me know what your favorite fabric is in the comments down below. Uh, I'm going to go grab the jar openers and show you that. So in this basket, I have 600 jar openers worth of shelf liner. So I bought everything I need for the entire year. I do have the majority of them cut, which is really nice. So that'll make it a lot faster. And then I'm not really counting. I'm just like burning through this basket. I do have this amount of fabric already cut. I don't know how much this is, maybe a hundred jar openers. So I'll burn through this first and these are all animal prints. I'll have the haul linked down below. Um, so I'm gonna burn through this first and then like the swaths that you saw and then like, what else was there? The, the other like cotton, the quilting cotton that I have like go with animal print first and then uh, if you guys remember the gray and the black, I'll do that. So like trying to just use what I have. I didn't order a ton of um, uh, quilting cotton because that's really easy to find at the thrift store and it's like, that's much easier to buy. The cotton flannel, I definitely need to order it in bulk because it's a lot cheaper and I go through it a lot faster. But let me know what your favorite fabric was in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a happy new year.